Where are we shopping for clothes? Because like, yeah, it's if like Pinterest and Etsy threw up in here. Good morning YouTube. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Tina and I'm going to be a sixth year teacher on the coast of Maine this year. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. Uh, if you missed my last video, I did have a name change from the teacup teacher to adventures in elementary. So if you're like, wait, who is this? Hi, it's me, it's Tina. <laughs> but I know this says classroom setup. Unfortunately, I am not going into my classroom today. So if you are here strictly for classroom setup stuff, I will put the timestamp here of what to fast forward to. Uh, the reason that I am vlogging for you today, even though I'm not going to the classroom is I am headed to the Portland area today, which is like a two hour drive. So I'm making a day of it because I am going to get my hair kind of just touched up, uh, add in a little bit more blonde. So because where I live in Maine, there's literally like nothing. We have a TG Maxx, we have a Walmart, but there's other than that, there's nothing. Uh, there is Target and Starbucks and Hobby Lobby and all of the stores. There's a mall. So I figured I would take you guys along for the ride and just show you some clips of my day just in case I get anything for my classroom. Um, and yeah, so we are going to go ahead and get this day started. It's currently 830. It's about a two hour drive, but I'm going to stop in Freeport, which has some, uh, like outlet stores first. That's about an hour and a half. I don't know how that's going to go because some of the stores don't open, uh, until 11 and I specifically need to go to Under Armour for Dusty. So we'll see how it all works out. If not, I'm just going to stop on my way home. But for now, we are going to hit the road. Um, I'm going to try to hold off until Target so I can get my Starbucks. I'm like super thirsty, but I brought my handy Danny Stanley, uh, to get me through the car ride until I get my salted caramel cream cold brew because that is my jam. So let's hit the road. All right, it is 10.05 and I just pulled into Target and I'm so excited. I love Target. I don't ever really get to go. Um, I grew up in South Jersey, which is like the land of if the Target closest to your house doesn't have something, there's like seven others to choose from within 15 to 20 minutes, like even one 10 minutes down the road, five minutes down the road. And now I have to drive an hour to an hour and a half to go to Target. So I'm here. I always park in Timbuktu because I don't like people near my car. Super anal about that, really weird. Uh, but I am here and it's really weird being here without Dusty because Dusty is always with me whenever we go to Target because he loves Target just as much as I do and I'm so thankful to have a guy in my life that loves to shop. So we're gonna go in and see what we can find. I don't have anything that I need. Um, so it's just gonna be a, if I like it, I buy it. If I need it, I buy it. Not if I like it, because I like everything. If I need it, I buy it. Let's go ahead and get our Target on. in Target. I'm going to show you what I got. Some damage was done, uh, but more than half of it was I'm not going to show you guys these obviously, but my underwear. Normally they're five for 25 and right now they're running a sale and it was seven for 25. So basically like you got two free compared to the normal like promo that they run. So not showing you those, but that's what half my order was. Uh, I also got these sandals. These were on clearance, so they're normally $24. They were on clearance for $9.99. Aren't they adorable? And then, and then I grabbed, uh, I think four or five of the like adhesive pockets, uh, the square ones, because I prefer the square ones. I just think they look nicer. I know that's really weird. They did have all of the sizes, like the long skinny ones, the little, um, the smaller skinny ones, but I went with the square ones because they're tried and true. I know the size of them, so I already have labels this size and I can just swap these out super easily. And then last but not least, this is not for my classroom. Dusty last night at dinner was like, we need some coasters because he doesn't like water rings on things. Uh, like especially the kitchen table, which 
it doesn't bother me but I am more type B and he's definitely type A so they have these like plain white coasters in the Target dollar spot and they're definitely meant for you to like paint them your way because it says DIY your way but I like that like raw white look so picked up these now we are off to the outlets it's currently 11 15 i was in there for an hour which oh, is so glorious i got my coffee and i'm just i'm so happy like so so happy uh oh and one more thing i also got this adorable rug i am on the fence of whether or not i'm going to keep it but i thought that that was really sweet so i'm gonna think about it today and if i change my mind i'm just gonna return it like it's not a big deal I could also like save it for next year just in case they don't bring that style back but I just loved the dotted lines like it's perfect for back to school so I don't know. did go a little bit shorter nothing crazy but we did take some length off I'm going to hit a couple of stores before I head home I need to hit Under Armour again for Dusty I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna go home and we're going out to dinner with some friends tonight so I'm excited for that I'm gonna try to find a shirt to wear to that that I could also obviously wear to work but we'll see so I'm going to go do some more shopping and then head home and I will talk to you guys later today okay I'm on my way home and I just have a question. My 30 year old friends, Curvier, where are we shopping for clothes? Because I have so many questions. I have been to TJ Maxx, Nordstrom Rack, Target, and Old Navy today, and everything is either cropped to all heavens. I needed to turn there. Shit. Um, everything is cropped or you look like you're about to audition for Little House on the Prairie. Like, where are we shopping for clothes? Where can we go for clothes that are a cross between the two? Like, I want modest, but not prude. Like, I am a teacher off duty. I have lost weight and I would like to show some of my body, but I don't want to look like a freaking house in a prairie dress. Like, where, where are we shopping? Where are we shopping for clothes? Where is this happening? Because trying 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 to shop for clothes for months now and I can't find anything that I like and Dusty is always like where are you getting clothes nowhere literally nowhere because I don't fit either demographic I am not a nun nor am I a crop top kind of girl because I've got a lot of loose skin and nobody wants to see all that hanging out so if you guys can help me out where is the place to shop because let me tell you, these stores, they're not it. Good morning, YouTube. It is Tuesday, August 9th, and I am obviously in my classroom, and I am so excited. It is a gross, humid, rainy day here in Maine, and as like terrible as it is, we need it. Yeah, anyway, focusing. I'm in my room. Uh, I have today to get some stuff done, and then I have surgery at 6 a.m. tomorrow. We're gonna see what we can just kind of blast through today. I don't really have a game plan, which is probably a small problem, but it's fine, it's whatever. My desks are not set up, and I'm not doing those yet, because in addition to having no surgery tomorrow, my um, doctor seems to think that I might have torn my ACL. So it doesn't hurt right now, it's just there's so much fluid, I just physically can't. But we're gonna do the best that we can. We're gonna do what we can. Probably just clean off counters, start at least putting things in the general location, like school supplies, put them by the supply shop, and things like that, just to kinda at least have some stuff in its correct place. I just made my to-do list. I'm gonna turn you around. Today, my goal is to get the counters cleaned off. 
uh, which really means just making messes elsewhere. So basically just moving piles from one place to another. It makes sense to me. Don't judge me. I don't know. Uh, they did just do my floors, so I'm going to try not to like lift them. We'll see how my knee feels. Like I said, it doesn't hurt. It's just uncomfortable. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, and then if I can, I'm going to try to find our mentor text for the first unit. Don't even know what I'm teaching first. I will explain that um, towards the end of classroom setup. It's a long story. I need to buy command strips in order to hang up my mirror and oh I need to add paint to this uh, I need to spray the calendar cards and then I need to make our schedule cards so if you watched my end of year vlog last school year you will know that uh, I wanted to create some separate ones because whenever a schedule change happens we may push this back five or ten minutes and I have this time stuck here and the kids are like oh it's time to switch but it's really not time to switch and then I showed you guys my calendar cards which I think I left it home I don't remember but I need to spray them they have a pretty bad glare on them and as you can see here like for my kids in my classroom it's gonna be pretty hard to see especially if it's sunny these are my retro um, like the flip cards for the date which will be right here uh, if you are interested in these they are in my TPT store so I will link that down below setting up and my principal came around with our new teacher that's joining our team this year and it was so funny because they came in and she's like oh my god I love your room like it's so cute mind you it is a disaster I'm actually gonna pan and show you before we get too far deep into this but he's like yeah it's if like Pinterest and Etsy threw up in here and I looked at him and I was just like I don't see it that way but that made me feel really good really good so anyway I'm gonna do a quick pan before like I said I get too deep into anything that way we have a nice reference of before and after so let me spin you around so this is what we're working with <laughs> it's a hot mess but we are going to uh, we're gonna make it better it'll get there slowly but surely I can't figure out where to put this shelf last school year I had that shelf over here and I liked that it gave me like a little bit more storage on the counter because essentially it gave me like two levels of places to put things but I didn't love the way that it looked in that corner I just felt like it was very cluttered over there so if I can't find another place for it like that's definitely where it's gonna go back but I just I don't know I could put it under a counter like behind my desk and put it long ways it does fit like long ways I don't know what to do and I'm super indecisive about it and that's not like me normally I come in I'm like this is where it's going like this is the way that it's gonna be and I'm struggling and I think it's because I have no blank wall space this whole wall is counter this whole wall is counter space and then I have our iPad cart over there in the corner, which last year it was up here, but I just didn't want my desk like cluttered the area, like claustrophobic. And then I have these shelves, which are going to get painted, just haven't been done yet. Uh, these were already here and I'm too afraid to get rid of them because they're like the perfect height for the bulletin board. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to to do just yet I don't want to get rid of it but I also don't want to keep it just to keep it like it does have so many uses and I can always put it back where it was I just didn't love it that's all also I'm gonna need your guys's help with this I have this rolling box that I do not want to get rid of because I think it can be very useful but again I don't know what for it rolls and it's originally meant to hold up like the big books so this was on the floor but it's meant to hold these like the 
the big picture books, which I do have two of them, but I'm not gonna keep this just to hold two of them. So if you have any creative uses for this, let me know. I was thinking maybe like rolled up anchor charts would fit perfectly in here. I don't know. I also have yoga mats that I could roll in here. I just can't picture kids rolling up yoga mats tight enough to fit into these spaces. So this big box thing, if you guys can think of any creative uses for it, please let me know down in the comments because I'm stuck. It has been like half hour, 40 minutes, but I was talking to our new teacher because I finally had to ask her. I totally bought plants off her in the fall. She was selling some uh, a monstera and a prickly pear cactus and I bought them off her. So I was like, I need to ask you a question. Like, did you randomly sell some plants? And she's like, I knew that was you. So I just, I had to go ask because it was driving me nuts. I'm in the process of moving tables. However, <laughs> it's actually not hurting my knee, which is great. The only issue is they're stuck to the floor. I think they put them in just a hair too soon after waxing the floors and I lift weights. I lift heavy weights and I am literally pulling with all of my might to get them unstuck in order to move them. I also just emailed my co-teacher because I want to know if our schedules have populated yet. I really want to figure out if I can get rid of some tables. I would love to have three groups and I'm thinking of using this table like as a as a seating table and then put like pillows on either side for students to sit um, but I would love to have that like in the middle of the room uh, so that's kind of what I'm thinking currently I have one two three four five six seven eight ten tables in here and I don't think I need that many I can sit four to six students at a table when I put them into groups. Last year I did four students per and it was very comfortable for them. I could totally do six, but I think it would be a little cramped. So even if I do four, if our largest class size is 12, like for the rest of the day, I could get away with only needing six tables that would get rid of four and would just free up so much room in here for us. I am gonna show you what I did. I thought I was recording and I don't think I was. So there may not be any B-roll of it, but I did find a place for the cubicle shelf, like the cubby storage shelf. Uh, so I'm going to turn around and show you that and I don't hate it. I think once I paint the other shelf white, it'll look so much better. So I needed a little bit more room because I did decide to leave these stacked, uh, but I needed to slide that down because I didn't want that to block this area, which I am keeping this exactly the same this year. So those are our I can statements, which they're super small because we go over them on this board every day. It's where my projector is. And then I put up some mentor text here that students are welcome to use and that I use regularly. So I didn't want to block this with that stack. All of our supplies are here, clipboards. And then I have our straw dispenser for pencils, our dull pencil cup, this needs to go away. And then I need to fix all of these labels, but homeless crayons, erasers, and then pencil grips I'm getting rid of because kids don't know what they are um, and my kids here don't use them. And then it gives me four more cubbies for storage which i already know that these fit here perfectly because that's what i used at my last school first world problem right now is the fact that these desks some of them are not the same height and I keep dragging them across the floor and I don't want to scratch the floor because I just wax them but like trying to find ones that are the same height and put them together is it's not working well but we're trying but it's not working when they switched like I had them all together in the room but when they redid the floors and they brought them back in they all got separated so I should have tagged them like you know pink post-its on ones that are a pair and orange post-its on another note to self tina do that next year do that next year
couple of the tables. I'm gonna show you kind of what I was thinking. This one has stuff, well they all have stuff on it, but this is how I had them last year. So I had three groups across the back here. So this one was more that way and then I had one centered and then I had two up front. What I'm thinking ideally is only four groups this year and then leave this middle open. For now, I am going to set up just the four tables and leave it at that and call it a day. That way I'm not spending a ton of time on it. And I'm just gonna push the other tables like up against those shelves that I have to paint. That way they're out of the way. putting this table back here and I think I love it. I'm picturing like an area rug under it. So it's in the back of the room with some pillows for students to sit on. I'm picturing like something just super calming here, uh, like a plant or something like that, just to make this a different place to work. Also, one other thing that I do wanna talk about is every time I show a video of my classroom with the chairs on top of the tables, I get questions about how my students don't have regular seating options. They do. I have regular chairs. You can see them stacked over there. They are all around the classroom. So once the classroom is set up underneath these counters where those open spaces are, are regular student chairs. They are welcome to use those at the tables. They choose not to, but they know that they are welcome to anytime. When they do their independent work like around the room, they do tend to gravitate towards that and I think because it's different. But in my room, like they love the hokey stools. They know that if they don't want one, they can pull a chair up and I have had students do that. So I just wanna preface that. So if you're new here, I do have hokey stools at all of my tables. There is one in, for every single student, one for small group, but just know that my students do have access to regular chairs because so many people comment about that, but uh, they do have them. They just choose not to use them. is unpacked and I think this is going to be its home. I do wish it was raised up a little bit so I might try to keep my eye out for something that's just like a little bit of a platform but it is here. I'm gonna put my like coffee pods here. I would love to put like a shelf here and just make this like my little section like put some plants and stuff uh, but that is like not even remotely important. Honestly the Keurig was the least one of the least important things but I just really wanted to set it up. I've had it sitting here for like a month ever since Prime Day it was delivered. Uh, so I'm really excited and I love, love, love that this is how it's filled. So it has a canister, unlike the mini that I got rid of. Um, gorgeous filled, but 
I am giddy. Like, oh, it's just so pretty. It is one o'clock and I'm losing steam. I haven't eaten anything yet today. So what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking I'm gonna call it quits for the day, which is really the week. So I'm gonna show you what I got done today. Uh, not a ton, but I feel good that I at least got in here. I got some things done and it's getting set up. It's also like showing me what I need to do. And hopefully like while I'm home, I can get some stuff done. I am gonna take a picture of the board that way I know everything that I can make and do in the meantime. And I'm gonna get packed up and get out of here. Uh, I need to get home and upload, edit, and upload a video for tomorrow because I did not post one last week just because of how my schedule changed with like planning to come in and set up and I wasn't able to and all that stuff. So let me turn you around and show you what we got done today. Wasn't a lot, but I'm happy. So this is the part that I was most excited for. Uh, I got my little corner set up. This is like, just my little chill corner. I, this is a little bit more cleaned off. Uh, these two things and the printer. So I have like a little table down here holding the printer. That was up there along with that little cubby storage. This was, I think that was up there because it wasn't on the floor. So that was up there as well. My table is a mess, but we're going to deal with that another day. Uh, and then up here, actually the classroom, I got all of my tables set up. So they are good to go. Over here, I got this mostly set up. I think this is how it's gonna stay, we will see. I need to paint that. And then I think I'm just gonna put different paper in here. So we're gonna try binders this year, so lined paper, and then I'll have one for scrap paper, and I will have one for uh, plain paper, which I need to make labels for those, so let's add that before I forget. I need to learn how to write all over again. I haven't written since like school got out. Uh, but. So student supply shelf. Okay, sorry, my coworker needed help and I don't know where I left off, but this will be the student supply shelf. It's super similar to last year. So my fifth graders, cause I had them when they were in fourth grade, my fifth graders will be used to this. Be new for the upcoming fourth graders. This is gonna be their mailbox system. These are going to be classroom library shelves, but they need to be painted. I did sit up here. They're like little plate display things from Dollar Tree. I did just sit those there for now. Um, that way I don't lose them. But with that being said, I am borderline hangry. So we're gonna get out of here and I just gonna go home and chill, work on a vlog. So I'm going to end this vlog off here. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell, that way you don't miss any new videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.